and recording. This is the tachometer, easiest kind installation. So as you can probably see, I've bolted this tack through the inside to this bag, which sits right here. So it's gonna be in a perfect place. I had to take off all these panels, which I'm gonna obviously show you how to put back on. But I've got to run the wire first. This bag sits right here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and hang it. So now the tack wire. It gets wound around the ignition coil four times, or the starter plug wire, I should say, four times. And I brought the zip ties out. So the wire, this is a ruckus, 2017 ruckus. So anyway, here's your spark plug wire right here. There's a little panel in the uh, the floorboard, floorboard, I guess. Um, that you can take off to replace your spark plug but i was trying to wrap this around the coil and everything and it was pretty much impossible to do with just this tiny little hole right here so i took the whole floor panel off the whole seat off and the battery cover off which once you've done it once or twice is actually quite easy it really took me even less than five minutes to do with the power drill um, but you got your spark plug wire right here and all you're supposed to do is wrap this around your spark plug wire four times. This is like a $14 tachometer. You can get it from a lot of places. I got it from Amazon. Uh, so you wrap it four times, and when it says around the spark plug wire, you want to do it right above this rubber seal. Right above this rubber seal right here. So you've got four coils of wire, like so. And that may not be close up enough, so I'm going to grab the camera after a zip tie this. This is an induction coil, basically. So what it does is it senses the electricity going through. I'm sure it uses the right hand rule from uh, electrical principles to measure the rate at which the electricity is going through, creating a magnetic field around the wire, which it measures and then displays on the screen the RPMs of your engine which is extremely helpful for about 5,000 different reasons. I'm about to grab the camera and do a close-up of this, but... So you can see it's wrapped around a spark plug wire four times. You can see that it has four full wraps. And then I got this zip tie holding the beginning and this zip tie kind of holding the end and the beginning of the wire. So that is, this right here is a spark plug wire. It normally sits right here. In a perfect world, you probably would tape, I'm thinking, Kind of tape this wire down all the way around here, which I'm probably going to go grab some duct tape and do. But it doesn't exactly need it because this floorboard is just going to go on top of that. And then it's just going to sit right here in this little channel. And I've already got it run behind. The battery box is going to go right here. And it's going to hold this wire all the way down and then it's going to run into the floorboard down here and around and it's done so the only thing that we got to do to make sure that it's working is to pull the little battery separator strip are you serious i'm gonna unscrew that freaking battery door no way Once the engine's running, it's gonna... I have to go get a key. Stupid. 
stupid. All right, key. Retrieved from key place. Whatever that means. Kill me. I could have did better. He said, Oh, I just started with a button. I got pushed the button in to kick it, and it just started. I, I heard it. I just said, Holy, I didn't hear the jump sound. 1980 RPMs. Oh, this is my idle speed. It's obviously way too high. This is why a tachometer is so important. Because I never would have known it was actually almost 3,000 RPMs idling. No! Which is insanely high. But that's so it wouldn't turn off. And I knew it was a little high. I didn't think it was that high. Poor learning opportunity. The idle screw is right here. Well, it's really it's turning the screw. And for anybody who wants to know, this little hole right here, you don't even have to take the seat off. And this hole right here is a vertical line straight to this idle screw. So if all you're doing is adjusting your idle, you don't even have to take that off. It's a little bit easier to be able to see what's going on. I won't lie. It was kind of hard to do just on sound. And I did get it way too high. And if you turn it too low, it'll die and then it's a lot harder to start. But So if you're going down, you want to go slow. If you're going up, it doesn't really matter that much. Alright. So I'm getting close to losing. There we go. Alright. It's getting there. It's just under 2,000. Sounds like it's about to drop out. 17, 18, 16, 2,000. That's pretty steady right there. It sounds good. It sounds like what it sounded just about new. You want your idle to be as low as you can get it without a knife. It does. And it's steady, which is surprising because I thought there was something else wrong and there might not be. It might just have been the spark plug. I'm going to sit the camera on the scooter so maybe the vibration will make it easier for somebody to be able to tell just how normal this is. Maybe not. But here's a close up of the idle scooter, right? Right there, it's right on the throttle cable. You got this spring-loaded little assembly. By the way, if you take the carburetor off, make sure that you do not forget to remove this because you'll start to pull it out and then you'll have something holding it down. And then, I can't imagine anybody would do that. <clears throat> Here's your main intake. Your main intake and your manifold. These are both electronic connectors. Now this right here is your idle screw. If you turn it to the right, tighter, uh, the idle speed goes up because it basically opens the throttle cable. And right here is how you determine, like, you can see it move. That's the throttle. That's me giving it gas. And you can see the throttle assembly turning. So as you can easily see, really, the idle screw kind of dictates how open it stays when it's not getting any throttle which is pretty simple and easy to understand but this is what it looks like so this assembly right here turns it's spring loaded and this controls how much gas and how much air go into the one cylinder right there this is the carburetor and this is the actual cylinder the main cylinder the engine right there that's the valve cover Obviously the gas tank's a pretty simple one. And then the air intake is where I was pretty sure most of my problems were coming from, but it actually turned out it was probably just a bad spark plug or a really dirty one. Because if you idling this low and not losing 
Yeah. This is a fuel filter. The fuel pump is up underneath. The spark plug is right there. Right there. It turns out if you clean the car and put on a new spark plug and there isn't something really wrong with it, apparently you can have a brand new scooter just like that. It sounds like it's about to die actually right now. I don't know why it's going down so low. That just dropped to 1160. But that tachometer is absolutely indispensable. I kept saying I thought it was mixture or timing or whatever, like something minor. The spark plug would have the same effect. If it wasn't getting a good spark, it would be the same thing as if there wasn't enough air, not enough fuel, you know? There wouldn't be enough power to keep it running, so it would just die. <laughs> yeah, every single time the valve opens, it sparks. Like, 30 times a second. Extremely vital. It's only 8 bucks, but very vital. Like, without spark plugs, there would be no cars. You know, there's nothing that can perform that function other than a spark plug. Like when you take one out, there's engine oil on it. It's in the actual cylinder with the gas and the oil and the air. I'm glad you said that because that might, I mean, somebody might, that might help. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the engine. It sounds like it's just about, it might be just a tad too low. I really don't want it dying. I'm gonna turn it up like 10 RPMs. There we go. That's 1380 to 1420. So very, very small. But the whole point, the only reason I really brought the camera up here at all was to show putting these plates and seat and all this stuff back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. That sounds so smooth. I love this scooter. I was not on the truck. I'm gonna kill it. 